How are long suits likely to divide in the opponent's hands? You have nine trumps. The opponents have four. Will these four divide four zero, three one, or two two? Let's calculate. If we assume that all outcomes are equally likely, the probability for a two two distribution is given by the formula number of ways in which two two can happen divided into the number of all possible outcomes. The total number of outcomes is the number of ways in which the four missing cards can be distributed between the two players of the opposing pair. The missing cards are queen, nine, seven, and six. The left-hand opponent can have any of these combinations. Avoid, four different singletons, queen, nine, seven, or six, six different doubletons, three headed by the queen, two headed by the nine, or one headed by the seven, four different tripletons, three headed by the queen, one headed by the nine, or all four cards. In total, there are 16 possible ways in which four cards can be distributed between two players. There is, however, an easier way to compute this. Each card can be with either opponent, left or right. So imagine four positions. One for each card, which can hold either the value left or right. The first position can hold two values. The second position can hold two values for each value of position one, and so on. Each position can hold two values for each value of the previous position. As a general rule, if n cards are missing, the total number of all possible outcomes is two to the nth power. Additionally, we can see that the number of ways a 2-2 distribution can happen is the number of doubleton combinations. That is, 6 divided into 16 equals 37.5%. In a similar manner, the probability of a 3-1 or 1-3 distribution is the number of different singletons, 4, plus the number of different tripletons, also 4, and we get 50%. But wait! In bridge, not all outcomes have the same probability. Because each hand has exactly 13 cards, an opponent can have one trump, only if he has exactly 12 cards in the other suits. Two trumps if he has 11. Three trumps if he has 10. And so on. So the number of favorable cases for a 2-2 distribution is the number of ways in which two cards can be trumps, times the number of ways in which 11 cards can be non-trumps. The number of all outcomes is now the number of ways in which 13 cards can be dealt, out of the 26 cards that the opponents hold. It would be extremely laborious to first enumerate and then count all favorable and possible outcomes. Fortunately, math comes to the rescue, telling us that the number of possible ways to select k items out of n, called combinations of n by k, or n choose k, is given by the formula n choose k equals n factorial divided into k factorial times n minus k factorial, where factorial just means multiplying a series of descending numbers. 4 factorial equals 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which equals 24. Going back to our first example, the number of ways 2, 2 can happen is 4 choose 2, which equals 4 factorial divided into 2 factorial times 4 minus 2 factorial. We get 24 fourths, which is 6. This is the same as our previous result. 
Now we can calculate the correct probability for a 2-2 distribution. It is 4 choose 2 times 22 choose 11 divided into 26 choose 13. We develop simplify, and we get just over 40% instead of the previous 37.5%. Similarly, the probability of a 3-1 distribution becomes 4 choose 3 plus 4 choose 1 times 22 choose 11 divided into 26 choose 13, which equals 49.7% and the probability of a 4-0 distribution is 4 choose 4 plus 4 choose 0 times 22 choose 11 divided into 26 choose 13, which equals 9.6%. Note that their sums equal 100%. In general, when n cards are missing, the probability for each distribution is given by the following formula. P equals 0, 1, 2, up to n minus 1. Here are the probabilities for the most common splits. For an odd number of outstanding cards, and for an even number of outstanding cards. An odd number of outstanding cards will likely split towards the mean. The mean of 5 is 2.5, so they will split 2, 3. The mean of 3 is 1.5, so they will split 1-2. An even number of outstanding cards will likely not split in the mean. The mean of 6 is 3, but they will not split 3-3. Three, three. The mean of 4 is 2, but they will not split 2-2. Two, 